Okay, so this is the most expensive smartphone that I've ever held in my hand before, save for its predecessor. This is a Huawei Mate RS Porsche design. It is 1,555 euros worth of smartphone in the 256 gig capacity, and it's 2,000 euros worth of smartphone, or just a little bit more in the 512 gig capacity. And as a result, what you end up with is a phone that is the exact opposite of consumable, unless you have gazillions and gazillions of pounds. This thing actually in all its overpriced glory stands for a lot of what I think smartphones should be doing now. Now that isn't to say I think all smartphone manufacturers should be charging more but hear me out. Huawei crams this with groundbreaking technology. It's the first phone with an in-screen fingerprint scanner so I can put my finger on the screen, biometric security, it unlocks. Fingerprint scanner around the back too. It's also IP67 water and dust resistant and that means it's probably going to last a little bit longer. Again removing the idea of it being a consumable phone from the equation. You've got a really high resolution, high quality OLED display. Nitrogen trifluoride is used in the production of LCD panels, whereas it isn't in OLED. And that is a greenhouse gas, like thousands and thousands of times worse than CO2. So generally from a spec point of view, you've also got a USB-C at the base. That means it's future-proofed in that regard. And it's a class-leading camera. So it's probably not gonna get outdone by this or potentially even the next generation of iPhone. It's a three cameras as found on the Huawei P20 Pro with its incredible 40 megapixel resolution on its primary sensor. In addition, the latest version of Android means you've got the latest security updates as well. And it's fast, six gigabytes of RAM and a Kirin 970. Now this isn't an advert for this phone. It's an advert for a high priced product being done right, a luxury product having a likelihood of lasting longer than a few weeks. You look at other brands, Virtu for example, they create luxury smartphones, but they never seem to have really, really high specs like this. So if you are someone with a huge amount of money who just wants a consumable gadget and this falls in your price range, that's one thing. I'm not talking about you, but if you are someone who wants to invest in something that you're gonna look after, then this is cool. But it would only really be cool if across the supply chain, that high cost of the product is remunerating everyone who went into making this as good as it is. Also, from an ethical point of view, I do have to mention I've done an ethical unboxing on it, you can check that out. And everything seems to be kosher. The Huawei prints on soy ink boxes, the bulk of the internals are recyclable. But the reality is with a device like this, which is in effect a collector's item of sorts, you probably wouldn't even be recycling it. You would be selling it on. Um, the only thing that I could think won't agree with everybody is the fact that it ships with a leather cover. Covers are great. They again, protect your phone, ensuring it'll last that bit longer and there is less waste, less churn. But leather, obviously, if you're someone who is vegan and don't agree with leather, this won't be for you, or at least that element won't be for you. Like I said, you can check out my ethical unboxing. Let me know what you think of this video. I'm trying to do a spectrum of videos from slightly off the wall, the baking videos, making like that vegan banana bread, filmed entirely on the P20 Pro, the little brother to this phone, right through to ethical unboxings, right through to competitions and general thoughts on the tech world. Because the whole point of ethics is you question stuff so that you can live a better life. And that's ideally what I want this channel to help people do. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. See you guys, bye.